Come on. So I'm leaving. You want my phone? Come on. I'm leaving. No, I'm leaving. No, it's either that or that. Here's your two choices. yo 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 good morning bro <laughs> welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing well taking care of yourselves as always yeah man i just woke up and here we are we're recording a video as always we're on our grind man so if you're new here and this is your first time watching me bro or watching the channel same thing <laughs> make sure that if you actually enjoy the video you sub up and join us bro do not to be a robot please literally all i ask is if you enjoy the video join us and if you do not enjoy it you can do the exact opposite run the dislikes up it's up to you but with that being said today we have a video that didn't just catch my attention but this title it's like one of these crazy ass titles that's just you know this video is going to be good i'm not even going to hold you up look it says this teacher loses his finger after trying to lock this girl student or female student in his office against her will that happened to me i'm gonna tell you all the story in a little bit uh, i don't know if it's gonna be the exact same thing but bro this exact same shit happened to me but let's press play on this first bro let's see come on come on you want my phone come on no i'm leaving no it's either that nah bro nah him by himself with that girl who obviously does not want to be there she said she's leaving three times bro what the hell am i watching did she get in trouble is this the principal george M george Metop metropolis the f is that what's his last name let me go back george mr P mr polos i don't know come on you don't gotta be in there with a grown-ass man if you don't want to oh you Ooh. just made it <laughs> Yeah, that's fake blood at hey, youtube i know y'all love to be the feds sometimes man but that is that is fake blood that's that's paint he's an art teacher obviously <laughs> i know that oh. i don't give a that's what his dumb ass gets for trying to lock a student up against their will. Listen, I had a traumatizing experience and I've, I've been telling people this story a lot, bro. Um, Not even like on YouTube, just in general in real life because it, it low I wouldn't say traumatizing, but it low key like still scares me to this day because look, back in eighth grade, I was well known. I was low key like known across the school, including by the, um, including by like the teachers, like everybody knew who I was because I was doing something back then. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I was doing, but bro, everybody knew who i was kind of and i had this i had this beef with um with what's his name the the vice principal of the school bro he was always on my ass always following me emailing me always calling me up to his office i was always in trouble with him specifically and one day this shit still trips me out to this day bro listen imagine this right and i swear to god i'm not lying he calls me up to his office mind you this is like my second time or third time going up to his office ever and he tells me to come inside and, and to have a seat right so i'm just thinking i probably did some stupid shit i might get a detention whatever you know normal middle school shit i sit down on the chair bro and this man i'm not exaggerating i hear click behind me the sound of the door locking which is weird because usually whenever he called me in the, the the first time or um you know beforehand like teachers would never really lock the door they would either close it or leave it open you would never so that was weird and then this weirdo ass just dickhead turns the lights off <laughs> I swear to God. So I was in there by myself with a grown ass, muscular weirdo, hairline falling off vice principal who hated my guts. And I was terrified. Guess what I did? Exact same thing as her. I was like, yo, let me out. I'm, I'm leaving, bro. I was like, please turn the lights on or I'm leaving. And he actually like went back. He was a little bit hesitant about it. And he was like staring me into like, I don't know. It was so weird, man. It was the most weird experiences I've ever had. But, and I wonder why he did it to this day. I still don't know what the the purpose was was he trying to scare me i don't know man it's weird so my point is there is no situation where a teacher should be allowed to confide or hold the student against their will unless the student is like i don't know trying to harm other people or some shit but i just don't understand what the f 
this video is like i said we don't have any other context besides that but y'all can let me know what y'all think about that bro there is some weirdo ass teachers out here and bro got his karma immediately god damn they splat his finger <laughs> what let's move on to a more interesting video though this one says get this right it says a man built this 15 foot fence after his neighbor tried to call the police on him and his dogs <laughs> what the hell this is do in fact make good neighbors the answer would be no shut your dumb ass up it's, man it's let's see um yeah, the, the fence is it's it's way too high. Why is this quality so ass? Y'all are just gonna have to bear with me, bro. This is just the video quality. It's I know it's awful, but let's see. Um, it it blocks the light coming into our sunroom. Homeowner Dustin Earnhardt no longer likes the view from his backyard on Britain Way. God damn, it's that boy really built a f***ing border wall, bro. Name that that they would put something like that up that could affect someone else's life. Earnhardt is talking about the 15-foot fence a neighbor recently put up. It's awful. The the view from inside our house is completely blocked. Um, we have we have no ambiance inside um, this sunroom that we have on the back of the house. Uh, it, it's pretty much useless now. Uh, a sunroom, bro. I don't know if you know how the sun works. What the. F the sun doesn't just shine from one specific direction, little bro. The, what? I've never heard of a sun room. And that fence is not tall enough to block the sun, man. What are you talking about? I can tell this neighbor is like a fed, bro. This neighbor right here is probably the worst kind of neighbor. No wonder he snitched on him. An entire portion of our house now we, we can't use. Earnhardt and his wife moved to this home nearly a year ago. He says after living there for several months, they became frustrated with the neighbor's dogs continuously barking at night. And so myself in conjunction with uh, several of our other neighbors um, called Animal Control. In August and in January, Earnhardt says he and some other neighbors sent letters of complaint to the Greenville County Animal Control. I believe the fence was put up out of spite. <laughs> and I do not blame him, bro. I do not blame him at all. What the f***? Listen, I understand barking dogs at night might be annoying as hell, but for you to try to get animal control involved and get their dogs taken away from them, no wonder they built that long ass fence, bro. Shut your dumb ass up and just live with it. Now you don't got to deal with the dogs, right? <laughs> and you don't even have to see them. <laughs> um, you know, we have previously had some, some problems with the neighbors with regards to their dogs. And there is nothing the opposing homeowners can do. Good. That's because there is no homeowners association for that neighborhood and there is no county ordinance that deals with the height limit on fences. I don't being petty can be annoying at times and can be uncalled for, but this is where it is not on bro, this is the best use of being petty man you have a noisy as annoying as dumb as snitch as fed as a neighbor right a literal federal agent who's ready to snitch and get your dogs taken away from you you might as well build a big ass fence bro that way this dumb ass can never see inside your house and can't complain about your dogs anymore man that's a w neighbor bro used his brain cells and actually took care of the problem hey let's end off on uh on this last video which is something about a skier let's see Damn. Oh, hell no. Oh, cool. Nah, that's a miracle, bro. Look how deep that thing is. He was sinking down to the bottom of the earth. He was sinking down to see some new creatures, man. He was about to see the underworld. Uh, God damn, I don't even know if I believe in that, but this hole seems like it leads somewhere fucking mysterious. The bro was sinking down to the core of the earth. This is a miracle. He needs to not move and call for help, obviously, but see, that's one thing about skiing, bro. I would do it. I feel like, but I wouldn't do it alone, bro. Hell no, I would do it with people, especially since this is probably the second or third video we've taken a look at where this shit either gets deadly or gets super close to, you know, to being a death incident, man. And it's, it's just such a horrible death to think about it, too. Like, this this would be up there with some of the worst ways you can die, man, because, you know, if you jump out of a sky, at least you... <laughs> If you like, I don't know, have like a, a parachuting accident or some shit, at least you have a nice view before you die, bro. You're not like looking at a fucking 
dark wormhole kind of just sucking you in and yeah this this would just be a horrible way to get ended man you fall down you break a limb or some shit and then you freeze to death hell no but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i think i'm ending right here yeah i'm in this right here this was a good video man i enjoyed this one and uh yeah let me know what y'all think about all these clips especially the first one let me know if you've ever had an experience like that with teachers man listen i've had a lot of and i've said this before bro i've had a lot of good ass teachers but at the same time man there is some weirdo teachers out there and i'm gonna just keep it at that y'all can let me know what y'all think about this video i hope you guys enjoyed run the likes up sub to the second channel if you haven't and i will see you on the next one peace out